Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. The government is working to overhaul the interim regulations governing the ganja industry. State Minister in the Ministry of Industry, Investment and Commerce, Dr. Norman Dunn, says the measures enacted in 2015 are no longer appropriate for the fast-growing industry. The interim cannabis legislation that we have here is a disincentive, complete disincentive, and requires a complete rework of what it is. And with the 2015 passage, we are now set in the ministry under Minister Shaw, myself and the team at the ministry, to work a serious little change this says if the laws aren't amended, Jamaica runs the risk of crippling the emerging industry. But he notes that there are prohibitive international conventions which force policymakers to proceed cautiously. Jamaica still needs to operate as a part of the world stage. We cannot operate in a vacuum. And therefore, these international obligations that we have already signed on to still mean something for the credibility of Jamaica. And therefore, it's important now as all we walk through the raindrops, because that's what it's going to take for us to be a part of that multi-billion dollar industry. The Planning Institute of Jamaica, PIOJ, is reporting that growth prospects for the economy are generally positive for April to June 2021. It is projected that the economy will grow within the range of 7 to 9 percent during the quarter. Based on the commencement of the recovery process relative to the low output levels recorded in the corresponding period of 2020, the relaxation of some COVID-19 containment measures, relative to the lockdown, which occurred in the corresponding quarter of 2020, and increased domestic demand due to an expected expansion in employment levels. Now, the PIOJ is also projecting a significant uptick in visitor arrivals, which is expected to revive the hotels and restaurant business. Airport arrivals for April 2021 totaled approximately 83,000 visitors, compared to none recorded in April 2020. Water consumption for April 2021 grew by 2.2% relative to April 2020. In currency trading, the U.S. dollar is selling for $149.00. 71 cents. The Canadian dollar sold for $124.73. The pound is going for $213.22, while the euro closed at $184.22. The JSE index lost 1,361 points today, and the junior market index is down 10 points. Among the winners were CAC 2000, 9.5%, Main Event Entertainment Group, Sterling Investments, US dollar shares, Caribbean Assurance Brokers and Siboney Group. Now on the losing side were ISP Finance Services, Maybury Investments, Sterling Investments, Jamaican Dollar Shares, Sagicor Real Estate X Fund and Palace Amusement. And that's the Financial Week. I'm Andrew Laidley. Good evening.